what's up everybody I thought I'd share a quick video with you guys today uh, just a little quick on the fly video I'm out here at my 4x16 off-grid cabin and uh, the last few times I've been out here it's been a little cold I've been using my big buddy heater but uh, the place um, is not insulated at all so it wasn't quite putting out enough heat and uh, today I decided to finally install a little cheap uh, wood stove and I thought I'd show it to you guys real quick it might work uh, well for your tiny house cabin off-grid whatever workshop whatever all right, so this little heater is made by a company called HQ Issue, and uh, believe it or not, uh, it's it's rated as an exterior uh, wood stove, but this thing is heavy duty. And so far, I have to say this thing is drawing better than uh, the one, the more expensive one that I use in my office. And you know, like I said, it's only seventy nine dollars. Um, and what's really cool about this situation is that I have it. You can see how close I have it to the wall. Uh, but there's no insulation back here, so this piece of uh, aluminum, this little piece of galvanized steel or whatever it's called, corrugated metal, is um, dispersing the heat really well. And I decided to just put it up on a little uh, platform so it's off the ground. And I put some supports under it right there. Super simple issue. I actually haven't installed the uh, uh, part up through the roof correctly yet. As you can see, it's just kind of makeshift. You can even see a hole through right there. Uh, I didn't bring the right tools, which I thought I had. Uh, but what's really cool about this is it's literally $79 and this thing is already, I just lighted it about 10 minutes ago and it's cranking out a lot of heat. You know, you can cook here. Uh, the idea was I have my little sink here, pardon the mess, uh, but you can just take, uh, you know, your food right here, slice it and dice it, put it from right here to there. Um, anyways, I just want to show this to you real quick. 79 bucks. It's rated for exterior use, but, uh, I think a lot of people are using these for like workshops, sheds, definitely like hot tent camping, that type of thing. But for here, what I'm using it for, perfect use, no problem whatsoever. Like I said, this thing is drawn really, really well. You can see it going straight up the top up there. Uh, yeah, right there. Neat little wood stove, 79 bucks. So I actually bought this thing on Amazon and I'll link you to the uh, place where you can buy it on Amazon in the description below. I've actually seen these camp style uh, portable wood stoves used before in tiny houses and I've actually used them before. I've stayed in tiny houses that have them and uh, to be honest this one's way more robust. It weighs probably twice as much and it uh, seems more permanent. Although you could actually take the uh, flue pipes and uh, break them down and stick them inside the wood stove if you ever want to transport it but uh, it seems a little too bulky for me for that. Uh, I'd rather keep this particular one uh, in place. Another thing that I like about this stove is that the actual length of it provides where you can put a full-size log in it. Like if you were to go buy a cord from a uh, person that splits wood and sells it to you, or if you do it yourself, and man, it's embarrassing. I don't know the exact length, what that typically is. If you know, let me know down in the comments. But you could, you know, uh, fill this bad boy up with good-sized logs before you go to bed, close this with a latch, and you can, uh, you know, open this up or down. Uh, kind of crank it down before you go to bed at night, both uh, top and bottom. And uh, there's a good chance you wouldn't have to fill it up the whole entire night, uh, depending on how much you open or close it. Or even if you had to get up just once in the night, that wouldn't be too bad. But another thing is that this comes with, um, they call it a poker. All it is is some metal bent, but it's kind of great because you can just do what you got to do. Move things around. So this is the case with any wood stove that has long legs. What's great is if you have wood that's kind of... Um, little dry you can stick it under there and this is um there's no fire brick under here at the bottom which i'm thinking about getting later but for now uh there's none so it means from here to the bottom underneath there's not any really padding uh so it gets really hot under here and uh that'll help um <clears throat> dry out the firewood a little bit before you put it onto the fire that way it'll help you know obviously light a little bit better and burn a little bit better and in case you're wondering this is not uh wood this is actually fireboard and I painted it green. I'm not sure how long it'll stay green. It'll probably turn ashy and dulled out, but for now it's uh, yeah, it's green and um, it should uh, reflect the heat quite well. Yeah, so I know for a lot of people, the whole purpose of living in a tiny house is to live very, very cheap. And to me, this is just one more example, or illustration of like how you can live really cheap. You can pay 79 bucks to heat your home, to cook with. Um, of course, you're not gonna be cooking on this thing in the summertime or the warmer months, but uh, yeah, it's just one more example. Uh, for me, proof that living cheap is not uh, living cheap is not something uh, that's like trivial. You know, there's like solutions out there where you can just go and do it.
All right, so my thoughts on the HQ issue $79 uh, wood stove is that it is a good buy. It's a very good buy. I'll be using this thing for many, many years to come. Uh, I've used several camp stoves uh, this style, and I haven't come across a better one. I think this is, and actually this one's just the same price, if not cheaper, than the ones I've used. So, yeah, it's a good buy. Uh, you know, it's ready for exterior use, so you need to do that. You need to think about that for yourself. Use it with your own uh best judgment or whatnot but for me i'll be using it and uh this is just free knowledge i thought i'd put it out there for you guys and uh take it as you may either way thanks for watching see you on the next video